Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Avatar 2023 review, and this one's on the Mako Submarine. And this... So on the front of the box here, we which have the LEGO Avatar logos and picture of the set in t underwater, of course, and that new border for this new wave, of course, and all the main things included, and age recommendation in uh, 9 and up, set number 75577, has 553 pieces. And on the back side of which, I would have it in a display going on, and all the features of it, and lego.com, and, <coughs> and onto the instruction manual. So, it was with a plain border going on. Uh, which like we've seen since last summer but, um, front page which is how they're turning over to paper bags and lego builder app and then how to win on the online survey and all the pieces that come with the set and again then advertisement for all the sets in the way in this current wave or both this wave and last year's fall wave of course and then the last steps let's enter some more screenshots like in the first wave then that is it To the mini fig selection in this set. First off, is what they're calling RDA Quartridge, but of course, this being Navi version of Curl Quartridge. But however, it's looking quite close to how he is in the movie. He will face printing and also the a uh, hair piece of it, also accurate to his appearance, but as for the torso printing, leg printing, all of which good, but also like, like good to see the, uh, the long legs in, uh, in all the green, great to see. Although still wish there could have been some, like, like blue print striping for that. Well, maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. Then have cartridge this human son uh, spider who is all new to this film which as you can see with some nice torso printing leg printing all of which good and, and also good use of the uh, hair piece that Aquaman from the DC line kind of had oh whoops but in this coloring and working out good and also for the face printing which has the like which has the air mask on him since he in the movie has that a lot. And of course, just like we saw with uh, with Grace in the first wave. Okay. And next to it is Netian. Yeah. Which has the same hair piece that uh, Jig and Atiri oftentimes had, but his face printing, really good. And also, as for the torso printing, and and, and uh, which looking quite good and also some nice sparkles going on it of course and also and like printing kind of similar to spider but of course spider has the mid leg so which nice to see there and just like we had with uh, Moak in the first wave or tree of soul sets in the first wave as a curved uh, knife piece and also one of those kind of spiky pieces used for a dagger knife, of course. And last of which we have Onan, which one of the new uh, Water Clan Navis, uh, which with the uh, bright aqua blue kind of coloring and similar like printing as uh, Spider kind of did. And, and also face printing, kind of similar to that, and also the same hair piece as Quartridge over here also did. And 
uh, face printing and torso printing all good for that and now on to what you're kind of noticing the most is an all new bow and arrow piece and how you get that to work out is is half one half one and then and half one then push on the arrow a bit oh whoops and then push on the arrow a bit of it and launches off and it does look quite powerfully but also good and to reload it have to like slant it in but make sure that it's angled out of position or like this bump part of it make sure that sticks up and reaches that and let's do that again so that nice to see although the original arrow piece quite nostalgic and quite overdone for like three decades four decades it's by now, but at least nice to see one great with an actual feature, here, of course. And on to the uh, back torso printings of each of them, all of which are quite good. But spiders, of which the only one with a double side face printing, which is still with the uh, uh, air mask there. So at least nice to see it on both faces of a double side face printing. Being quite different than we had with Grace, obviously, but yeah. So this main fig selection as a whole, which is quite nice to see here, of course. Although I think we, it would have been nice if we also got an, an extra uh, RDA uh, trooper, just generic one, alongside as well. But it, as is, still quite good selection, but yeah. And so now, first, one of the build bits of which is this little uh, terrain-like bit. And like all the like all the other sets in this way, representing the uh, coral reef bits of the ocean of Pandora, of course. Like I see it's standing on dark blue uh, tiling or corner plates there. And also with dark tan type uh, plates on there representing the sand parts of it and but also these curved slopes and from and you see that it's a recent banana piece yes but in turquoise oh it's great to see here and also for mocking that would well work out well and from this side of which you have one of those like one of the crown pieces from the angry birds line but in glow in the dark like we saw on the uh, on some of the sets in the first wave of course but and as you see, also have the like, also have the like friends cupcake bottom part piece, but in aqua kind of coloring. Oh, which nice to see there, and good technique there. And also, you get the coral piece, but in this in coral red, good to see there. And of course, has an action stand piece on there to. Like, fit one of your figs onto to make it look like they're swimming in, around it. And that is it for that. And onto this other bit here, which as you see is mostly bricks and uh, slopes stacked up, but on all angles, interesting pieces. Like, do you get a oh, whoops? Oh, hang on. Like, do you get one of the coral pieces again? And also the carrot pieces, but in lavender purple. And oh, so, and if you're familiar with carrots, you probably know that sometimes some of which do come in purple, of which, so this which, nice to see they're used in some carrot farm mocks them and also get plenty of like large cheese slopes and jagged slopes in olive green there and some more banana pieces in uh, turquoise of course and also the cone pieces that are translucent dark blue but with a little sparkly texture to them like if i can get it to focus 
I'm not sure if you can notice on camera, but they which are quite sparkly, like we saw on the Cornish Pixies in the Harry Potter line, of course. And above which, another action stand piece for either one of your mini things, or, or of what's also included is a little stingray kind of piece, which I'll show in a bit. And other side of which, the classic uh, kelp seaweed pieces there. And also, if you wonder what this yellow rod bit is for, well, which I'll show later, but yeah. And also, forgot to mention, is also include this uh, little stingray piece, like we saw in the recent City and the Joggle lines, but however, it has some interesting prints all over it, and sparkly and reflective type prints as well. And of course, about this, which probably the closest there is to it, any of the weird sea creatures on Pandora, of course, and has the reverse studs underneath there. But as is, I think, quite good inclusion for this set. And the last of which is this, this third of rocky grotto kind of area. But however, one side of which cons does consist of a big ugly rock piece there, and some more of those little pieces there. And also these uh, spear tip pieces in light green. Great to see here. here and some more of those uh, cheat slopes in turquoise. Good to see there. And this one side of which does have those leaf pieces in both lavender and light and dark pink. Of which kind of representing probably like bits of the underwater uh, tree of souls there. And underneath is this large hollow space, most likely to probably fit your uh, stingray right, into or any of your mini figs into. And also a little hollow space to uh, fit something in there. In this upper section. Which have those elephant trunk pieces, but in darkish pink. Nice to see there. And, and of course, a couple action stand uh, kind of bits and pieces to fit your stingray or other mini things onto, of course. And that is it with that. And now, onto the Mako sub itself. Well, for first glance, kind of a little different than some subs that we get in LEGO, usually in like LEGO City and things. But of course, interesting color scheme to see here of like sand green uh, and dark gray and uh, black, yellow, and orange. And of course, kind of fitting, uh, which fitting to the RDA feel that it is like we saw in the amp suit last year, of course. So now, as for each section here, like this front section, of which consisting of like three of these uh, little cockpit co or helicopter cockpit pieces. Although, kind of like, a, but from the side view, just not nothing to conceal it. Because if this went underwater and no one was wearing a scuba suit, wouldn't be much of anything. But however, both of which do open up quite nicely. And on both uh, KMP cockpits, do have like uh, large curved slopes that have sticker uh, type consoles on them. And basically, you can take whatever meaning fig you want, or probably take both of these meaning figs, one lying down and one sitting down, and uh, pilot it, and, and then close, down, close up over them like quite well, like so. And then for the other sides, which do have the, oh, what you're probably going to say, wings, actually more like fins, 
fin-like bits to it, which with a single uh, yellow plate on there. Interesting to see there, but on both sides of them do have the newer style stud shooter, and you can tap and they launch like so. And then on one side, which do you get this, like, get a side curb slope with a sticker on it. There's plenty of stickers in this set to keep in mind. Is you can get also one with the uh, Cat Ops logo and also these little missiles on there. And of course, good, nice technique going for that. And from this top section, we which do have a couple of uh, corner plates there, and also one with a regular dome piece on there. And the main feature is if you like get your hands on that and pop it off and get this little engine bit of it made from a few translucent orange kind of pieces on there. And also one that's on a jump a bit type of course. Although this kind of like we saw on the uh, def defensive crate uh, 2018 Star Wars set of course. But however with it removed quite a lot of hollow space in there. Although you can like fit some things in there if you wanted, but yeah. But as for this further down, I would get both the back fins there and also this yellow uh, winch piece on there. Since most likely to represent and when they went on one uh, watercraft that holds them up and rep and then and if you remember in the movie it was being held there and then being dropped into the ocean, and of course. But anyways, for the back side of which, you get a couple of those newer style uh, slope pieces, also in sand green, nice to see there, and also these corner uh, or slope pieces there. And also for the back angle bit, you get three of these turbine pieces, but main parts which have stickers on them, of course. There's, however, you get plenty of good uh, water thrust in here, in there, of course. And as for the bottom side of which, that but this uh, sand green bit is for this one, is for one of the stands that we showed earlier. They connected on there, and it's on a stand like so. And of course, looking quite nice. But... Now we can get everything in. Final verdict. Overall, I think this is which a uh, quite good set for how it is. Like, get a unique looking vehicle, of course, and a few uh, coral reef kind of sections. Since, of course, it's one of the good parts of this new movie, and also get one of the important characters of this new movie, Spider, and also a, a also a stingray piece with some neat prints to it. So overall. But aside from that, whereas price to piece ratio of which, uh, not too bad for that. And of course, at least, and also, as for the like, new uh, bow and arrow piece, works out quite well, as, as you saw there. And although I think maybe what I, what I think they could have at least done is maybe like let this section be a little smaller and not have this section there probably put it down to like $50 or something, but aside from that, it's still quite great as is, and also get plenty of sand green, so at least this set also works out well as a little, as a large parts pack like of turquoise and sand green and other pieces, of course.
And now, if you're looking to get this set for your Avatar uh, 2 collection or Avatar collection, definitely pick it up. And that's about it. And if you're looking for a good enough set to go with any of your collections, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.